Okay, hey guys, so um, haven't done a video since, I don't know, Saturday? It's Tuesday today. Um, I've been at my office here in Cyberport today, yesterday, and the day before. And on Sunday, I think I spent most of the time doing something on Phony Girlfriend, and that went pretty well. And basically, in my mind, it's done. Um, there's no new stuff we really want to do on it, and I'm just fully focused on this new project. So Sunday night, I started uh, messing around with Unity 3D to see um, if it would be viable to make my new game in Unity, and I got some stuff done. I was pretty happy with it. Then on Monday, I spent some more time working on Unity 3D, and I, I got quite a lot done, but I also got really annoyed with it. I, I ran into a lot of issues with UI, and basically placing text. Like the one thing I want to do, it's pretty simple and I'm sure it's doable, but I just want, I've got a block of text, right? And it can be, as can have a, the height can vary. So it can be taller or shorter depending on how much text there is. And I want to put some text directly underneath this thing. So this text needs to know how tall this thing is and to position itself. In X and A, it's, it's quite a lot of code to do in X and A. You have to like measure measure the font height, measure how many lines you have, that kind of stuff. But it's doable and it looks pretty nice. Um, when I try to do it in Unity, I just, I can actually, uh, I'll show you in another, I'll show you a, a bit later, but when I try to do it in Unity, it just does not work at all. Um, so I got really annoyed and I thought, okay, I'll go back to Mono Game. Um, I downloaded the latest Mono Game, updated my uh, Android, Xamarin.android subscription, got the latest thing there built my project, uh, my Tokyo Hosto, I built that in the latest mono game and the latest uh, Xamarin Android and it just it just doesn't launch. It it um it you start up the game and it's doing all these like garbage collection things. So it's basically saying there's too much stuff being allocated, it's gonna do some garbage collection. And the game just never launches. I I ran it for like ten minutes, it just doesn't launch. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, but to me, it's pretty, I mean, one thing I could do is I could run on an older version of Mono Game, and that seemed to work fine, but there are some other problems with Mono Game. Uh, one, one was the, um, if you try to resume the game, it would, it would just start again from the beginning. So that's not really acceptable, and there were some other bugs in Mono Game, so like, running on an older version is not really good in, anyway. The other thing I could do is I could continue developing an XNA in Mono Game and just assume that these bugs are going to get fixed, but um, that's a bit risky. <laughs> so after yesterday, I decided, okay, I should go back to Unity. Um, and so all today I've been working on, uh, I've been working on the new game, which is, the engine is going to be very similar to uh, Tokyo Hosto, but um, it's going to be all in Unity. So I've been working on doing all the stuff I want to do um, in all the stuff I want to do in Unity, all the stuff I want to do for the Tokyo Hosta engine, but in Unity. So I've just been kind of learning the Unity engine and that kind of stuff. And it's going okay. So deploying to Android is pretty easy. Deploying to iPhone, and you know, deploying to Android, I, I got that no problem. Easy peasy. Deploying to iPhone is a bit weird. You have to build out, when you build a Unity project, it actually builds out an Xcode project, which is like an Apple project, and then you have to open that Apple project and then build it out again, and I did that, and it just didn't work. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I'm, I, I might try fix it tomorrow, but I, there's all this stuff to worry about, and I, I'm just going to assume that it building to iPhone does work, um, because iPhone and Android have to be like the biggest platforms for Unity. Uh, I, I can't imagine that their iPhone support doesn't work. Yeah, um, so I guess I'll show you guys what I've done uh, on the Unity project. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, you press play, a really nice logo appears, and then it's going to fade out. Then we go into the briefing state, uh, state. Your slumber is interrupted by a loud, ducky noise at your door. Time to wake up, Kim. So you tap and you're in gameplay state. And this doesn't actually do anything, it's all static at the moment, but 
I mean, the thing that annoys me is I think this text looks really terrible, and I think this backing box also looks bad. Um, like this text especially, these letters are too crowded together. I don't know what's going on here. Um, and then there's another scene, which I basically spent like two hours on, and it's kind of embarrassing, but it's the cutscene state. And um, we have a sprite. Where is it? Where's the sprite? Sprite, 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 sprite. Yeah, it's here, okay. And it's basically just like a comic strip kind of. It's the comic strip for Tokyo Hosto, the opening one, and the panel one, two, three, four, five, right? And we want the camera to zoom in on this panel and then transition to this one, then this one, then up here, and then up here, right? Um, and at first, I thought the way to do it would be to... We've got this camera object, and basically I would adjust the size of the camera to fit onto these things. So I would move the camera around. Um, that seems to make a lot of sense. And actually, saying it now, that seems like a good way to go. But I didn't go with that way because um, I wasn't able to adjust the camera the way I wanted to. Um, so I want these panels to be able to shrink in width and in height, but not necessarily uh, proportionally. But this camera seems to really want to move proportionally. Um, and because of that, I decided not to use the camera. I decided instead to cut this texture into different parts. Um, I'll show you the code for that. So here is the, this is really bad, I'll clean this up later. But here we have a cutscene state and this is the sprite setting part. So, okay, so Here's a bunch of different rectangles. There's six of them, and, and they're used to um, define the different frames on the scene, uh, on the comic strip. And what we do is we create a new sprite object, and we pass in the... So first thing we start off is we load the comic strip up here, and then we set it. We set it to the first one, and then that's in here, set sprite. And so in set sprite, we actually have to do some weird maths here, because... Uh, Unity uses a different coordinate system than Microsoft does. Uh, I think Unity is using the OpenGL coordinate system. Basically in DirectX, 0, 0 is the top left corner of a texture, and then in OpenGL, uh, 0, 0 is the bottom left corner. And, and because of that, coordinate, the coordinate system is a bit fucked up. I didn't want to change all these coordinates myself, so I just here we just kind of flip it around with this line of code. And then we load. Uh, we create a new texture using the source rectangle, and then um, and then we center it. And the centering is like this kind of code. And this was pretty tricky because I, I didn't really understand Unity's coordinate system. I still don't really get it. Uh, but what we, what we do is we just uh, we scale the texture to fit. We scale the texture so that it fits the um, camera. But we don't want it, we want it to, we want the whole thing to be visible, so we don't want it to skip. Anyway, basically we're just scaling the texture up so it fits the camera, and then we center it. Um, and this is what that looks like. Yeah, so all of these frames are fitting really nicely into our little window here. And that took me like so long to do. <laughs> but, I mean... I can learn this stuff. It's just pretty frustrating to learn it. It is actually really frustrating to learn it because I think there's a lot of idiots uh, doing Unity programming. And when I search up a question, there's just so many questions that have been asked. And then some guy will post a really terrible solution. Or he might post a solution which is like a thousand lines of code. And there's just no way I want to do it. And the other thing that's annoying is um, um, Unity's been around a long time. I think, I don't know how long, 2009, 2008, maybe even. But it got really hot in 2010, 2011. And a lot of the questions from 2010, 2011, I don't know if they're valid anymore because you know it's been five, four, it's been five years since then. So maybe there's a better way, but you don't know because um, there's just so much to know in the Unity game engine. So I guess right now I'm really worried about doing things the right way, but I, I think I should just focus on doing them, getting getting stuff done, and then cleaning it up later. Anyway, let's. That's how the project's going. Uh, so far, it's all Tokyo Hosto stuff, but um, as soon as I finish writing the script, I'll get some people working on graphics and, and we can um, start putting in the right assets.
but I kind of want to get the engine in place first, so when I do that, it's just going to be a lot of Tokyo Hosta stuff. And I need to write more because I haven't been writing at all, actually. Anyway, that was today.